Good evening. The man awaiting sentencing for almost killing a 17-year-old Cibola student with a shovel was at an Isotopes game, possibly on a date. He's supposed to be under house arrest. That's right. The victim's family captured the ball game excursion on video. And now the DA's office wants to make sure that Justin Hansen does not have any more outings like it. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at Isotopes Park with that story. Rebecca. Well, Dean, this past Saturday, Justin Hansen strolled right into Isotopes Park and the woman he nearly killed is outraged he was allowed to do so. I was like, are you kidding me? Brittany Marcel is in disbelief. With his ankle monitor clearly visible through his pants, Justin Hansen was taking in a ball game Saturday evening, nearly a decade after ambushing Marcel with a shovel inside her home and leaving her for dead. After I've pretty much been locked up, for like 10 years and I scared out of my mind to go do stuff while he's out there walking around like nothing's happened. Done in by DNA last year, Hansen pled no contest in April to attempted murder for attacking the then 17-year-old Cibola student he knew from the mall. But until his sentencing next month, he's supposed to be under house arrest. Somebody who attempted murder on my daughter and left her for dead and he's out roaming the streets, but they authorized him to go to a sporting event. Under Hansen's condition of release, he can only take his kids to school. Never said that he can go to sporting events. Any other trips must be approved by officers from district court, and he must be accompanied by a list of approved chaperones. District court confirms Hansen asked to go to the game, and they approved it. They let him go out, pretrial services. They need to take responsibility. They need to comply and be held accountable. <laughs> Since Hansen's ball game outing, the DA's office filed this motion to clamp down on his conditions of release. They call the woman a possible girlfriend and say, quote, allowing such a frivolous outing is against the conditions of release. And they say it's unknown if he was accompanied by an authorized responsible party. How, how do we know that he's not going to take flight with this person he was with? And Brittany says it makes her fearful for anyone that crosses his path. He could be out there eyeing you down, saying you're going to be the next person I go after. Now the DA's office says although the trip was approved by pretrial services, they believe it was completely unacceptable. Dean, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Hansen's facing up to 18 years when he is sentenced next month. District Court Judge Cindy Leos made the decision to let Hansen stay out of jail until sentencing, even after he pleaded to that crime.